Hey everyone, um, here's my 1997 Kirby G5, um, that I just got done, um, buffing a few hours ago, and so here's how it came out. Um, as you can see, it came out very nice, um, you can see, there's my, um, you can see my camera light, actually, um, if I go like that, if I just block the light, you can actually see my reflection. You can see my phone there. But, yeah. Um, and now, this is an early G5 because it doesn't have a brush roll um, indicator. So, um, so on later G5s, they obviously added that on. But this one here, um, they did not do it. Um, so, this G5 here is actually rare. Um, so, yeah, um, so, uh, if I just open this up, and, and now there's one, um, improvement they, they did change on the G5, um, because on the G4, it didn't have this little handle that pops out, um, instead you just, like, grabbed, um, the whole thing, and, um, the whole belt lifter, and you just turn it, whereas this one here, it, um, gives a nice handle to pull out and then you could just um, do that and then just drop it down and then it just drops um, out like that and now it does have a metal fan in there um originally it had a Lex or had a premiere um or sorry polymer fan um uh, originally but um wasn't that great to begin with. Um, I didn't like it. The, um, the fan that was in there. Um, well, it's not that I didn't like it. It was actually destroyed, kind of. So, Tom, or Kirby Vacuum Collector and Fixer, um, he sent me this fan. Um, and so I put it in, and I do like it. And this Kirby here sounds like a vintage 500 series Kirby. Um, with that fan. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and um, here's the nozzle, as you can see, um, that's looking pretty good. Here's the brush roller, um, which is pretty nice. Um, and yes, uh, like I said in yesterday's video, I am fighting a cold right now, so sorry about my um, bad voice and my sniffling. But, anyway, um, so once you're done with that, you just twist it, and then, bam. And, so, um, like on the G4, um, there's a carrying handle, and, yeah. And just like on the, um, G4, um, and pretty much... On actually all Kirby's as a matter of fact um, you have this um, you have this um, uh, you had like this thing here where if I just pull it back <laughs> um, if I just pull it back like this um, and I just raise it or, sorry, I don't got, there's, I don't really have a lot of room here to demonstrate this, um, there we go, so, as you can see, um, this, um, this position here, um, makes it so you can raise up the nozzle to get over, like, door frames or vents or whatever, but if you twist, um, uh, or if you turn this, or if you press it that way, um, it raises the Kirby flat um, to the floor to get under beds, um, etc. Um, so, yeah. But, I mostly just leave it on there. So, yeah. So, of course, you have the nice sticker here. It says Kirby. It's a, um, there's the G5. And then right there, it says performance um 
that says Kirby there, so that looks really cool. Um, on the side here is the um, toe touch control, just like on all Kirby's. And then um, just to raise it down and to raise it back up, it's obviously this button here. It's easier to do with your foot, but um, yeah. And let's see. Oh, the cord. Um, in the back here is a 30, 32, um, 30 foot cord, I think it is. Um, which is the t standard Kirby size, or there's also a 50 foot upgrade, which I did actually buy an upgrade cord for this, but I didn't really like the 50 foot cord on this. I didn't think it looked very nice. Um, so I just put this one back on. I really like this one a lot better on here. So, just like on all Kirby's, they have the quick release release cord hook on the top or on the side. Um, and so, yeah. And so here's the cord. Not too different. Um, this machine here is really not that different compared to the G4. Um, except... The G4, um, was, like, gray, kinda, um, whereas this one here is more, like, a dark color, which, honestly, I think the dark color actually looks kinda cool, I think. Especially the cord, cause the G4's cord is gray. This one here is, like, a dark kinda thing. And here's pretty much the same plug. As you can see there, it says Kirby. I do like this um, plug actually in that Kirby lettering there. That actually looks pretty cool, I think. So, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, the back. Um, moving. Um, moving on to the back, I think, because I pretty much showed everything there. Wait. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, we'll do the back now. Um, so, obviously, here we have the tech drive system. So, that's, that's drive and the neutral, which, anytime you shut off any Kirby, um, always remember to put it back on neutral. Um, try not to leave it on drive, because that's not very good for the, uh, for the, uh, tech drive system. So, yeah, just a little tip for you, uh, on and off switch. Um, then just like on pretty much all Kirby's, you get, um, they give you a little, co um, coin holders, um, so if you're fine, if you ever find, like, a coin when you're vacuuming, um, like a couch, um, or whatever, or the car, so basically if you find, like, a coin, or something, um, you can put it in, you can put it inside, um, that little thing, which, if I can find a coin, I will demonstrate that. Let's see, do I got Dang it, I do not. Um, so, yeah, and now, on this one here, to open the back to get your, um, to get your money, um, uh, you have to take off that screw, whereas on a lot of, on most Kirby's, they have a little, um, you don't need a screwdriver, you just basically twist it off, um, but on this one here, you have a screw, um, so, yeah, um, and of course, it's the bag, um, which I'm running a paper bag in there at the moment, um, and yeah, <coughs> Sorry. Uh, excuse me. So, obviously you can remove the bag on this by pressing this button here. It says push. And then you just basically, um, there's a handle under there that you grab. Um, and then it can, that bag, um, can be removed. Um, so, yeah. 
So if I just set this camera down like that, and then the bag is um, off, which you would do that if you want to use the blower part or the shampooer. Um, now speaking of that, um, the the things I got with this Kirby was the shampooing kit, which is in that box, and I also got the attachment box with the hose with all the attachments as you can see um and i do like this i really like this dusting brush actually the bristles on here are very soft um so that i do like um have this tool and i don't know what this um i've gotten this on all my kirby attachments or crevice tools um this little brush here, I'm not sure what that's for, but I tend to remove them, um, because I don't really see a whole, the whole point of them, and I feel it's more effective without that, but, anyway, um, so, yeah, so here's the hose, um, pretty much identical to the G4's hose, except, um, just pretty much darker color, um, so, I everybody already probably knows how to use um probably knows how to do the um the hose on the front um but I'll demonstrate it anyway so basically twist it out like that uh, and then you take then you have two ends of the hose you have this that end you have this end here so you want to take you want to find um the um bigger end here um and now it goes in like this with that little thing um, going in the safety switch, like so. Um, and then here's your hose attached for regular vacuuming. Well, actually, you could shut that, and obviously the bag would be attached. Um, then you can use whatever you want there. Um, and yeah, so anyway, um, you take that out. And now if you wanted to use the um, blower part, you would take this air intake, and you would put that, or you could also leave the, um, the nozzle in there too, if you wanted, um, and then you could just basically put it in there like that, um, so that nozzle, or that air intake vent is in there, um, then you would take, um, this end, um, and put it on, put it where the bag would usually go, like that, um, and so now you can, um, so now basically you have a little blower if you want to, like, blow something off, or perhaps even, um, blow up a beach ball or a pool, pool toy or something, because you do, they do give you a nozzle for that, which is right here. So now you can basically blow, um, blow up, like, um, some toys or whatever. Um, so yeah. Alright. So, I'll get this, I'll get all this stuff out of here. Well, except for the hose, because I will be demonstrating that. Um, but, um, other than that, I will get, oh yeah, and I'll also be demonstrating that too. So let me just get this thing reassembled back together. Okay. Um. So yeah, let me just get this thing put together. Actually, while I put this together, I will put the camera down. Alright, um, so now I'm just gonna take this, just move this stuff out of the way. Um, so yeah. Alright, so now I will demonstrate the machine running. Alright, so, um, 
I won't put any. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I won't put any dirt, um, or anything down. I'll just use it or just dem um, demonstrate it like this. So, here we go. works pretty well as you can hear um so and also let me know if you guys like those different um angles that i tried um so i'll happily do that so now i will show you the hose and blower and um in normal mode um and now i'm gonna try and do this rather quickly because this video here is getting pretty long um and I generally try not to make them very long because they take forever to upload. So, here we go. Um, so, now I will take the hose and just plug it in. Alright. And I... Because this machine here has a lot of attachments, um, I won't use all of them, but I will demonstrate the dusting brush. It's just a, one I chose out of, um, I just randomly chose it, so, um, so here we go. still spinning but um it's not now since i waited um since it um i wasn't quick enough to take the thing off but anyway i will just really quickly show you the blower part because this video is getting um is now 20 minutes long or getting on 20 minutes so yeah um so get this off Um, so, now I will get the blower, um, thing, um, get it attached like this. Okay. So, here we go.
is the 1997 Kirby G4. So, um, I have to say, this is a really good machine. I do really like it quite a bit, actually. Um, it's really decent. Um, it's really a good vacuum. And I do like that fan that's in it. It really sounds like a vintage Kirby, which I do, um, like a 500 series Kirby. Um, which is what I hope to get one day. So, um, yes. So, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, so here's one last look at it. Thanks for watching. I will have more soon. Remember, um, remember to um, like, comment, and subscribe to Awesome Vacuums.